Hi, my name is Al Green. Not that one, but the, uh, the struggling guy who was in the music industry for years trying to sell talent and songs to agents. The agents befriended me and taught me techniques that I want to pass on to you through my program, which is called You Can Talk, You Can Sell. Anyone who has ever taken this program has excelled in selling and either risen to the top of their company, their team, or the top of their field. It's called You Can Talk, You Can Sell, and you can get it right here. Let me ask you, what are the words that you use when you talk to people? Do you ever pay attention to the subtleties of how you phrase a question? Or is it possible that you would want to learn what those words are? Because one of the things that they talk about in selling is you want to ask open-ended questions. So for example, you don't want to answer questions. People don't like answering questions. They don't, people don't like feeling manipulated. People want to feel like they made the decision whether or not to buy rather than you've sold it to them. So one of the things you might want to think about is this. You know, you want to get a person's phone number. When you say, can I have a phone number to reach you? A lot of times you're giving them a yes or no. And people innately sometimes if they feel like there's a manipulation, it's this simple. They're going to think, no, nah, that's all right. Or in, in a legitimate situation, a better way of wording it would be, what's the best way you would like me to contact you? Because today we have texting, we have email, we have direct phone calls, and we have a lot of other ways we can do it. Or how would you like me to contact you? Very simple. You let them do the talking. Now, when we're talking about something like this, and we talk about the subtle words that people use to talk, you, you see why people fall into the trap of trying to manipulate somebody when they're making a sale. When in reality, in my system, the six-figure selling system, I will work with you on refining your language so that you can be like me, and just be casual and talk without it sounding like you're manipulating anything. So for example, one of the things you can do, what do you do when you have a person that says, I need time to think about it? Or if you, for example, have a person that says, I have to talk to my business partner. I can't make a decision without talking to my, or my wife or whatever it might be, or my husband. There's comebacks for this that you can use that people don't even realize are so good. They're so effective. People don't even think that there's another way other than the fact that they're stuck being stalled. Somebody's stalling you when they're saying, I got to think about it, or I've got to mull this over. I understand that. That's okay. Because what I learned from the years and years and years of dealing with that is to let people relax and have the time and not feel at all pressured. In, the, in my six-figure selling system course, I cover, I cover a technique called the Fast Five that really helps you get past all that. And that is something that most people don't even know how to approach. And mostly, even the best salespeople that I've met often do it wrong. They handle things differently because they're not going to go for anything that's going to result in a no. They're going to word things so they get yeses. Does that make sense? In other words, you could say, look, um, I'm taking the time and I don't think you want me to waste my time. Is that correct? I don't think you want me to waste your time, right? I mean, people are usually going to answer in the affirmative. But again, we talk about giving people a reason to say yes. What's the reason to say yes for them? What are the things you're going to do to make sure that they feel like they're making the decision to buy from you, 
not that you're making the decision to sell to them. Even though, if you're like me, you're a positive thinker, and you're going to think, you know what, if I want to sell to this person and have them buy, that's my decision, not theirs. There's a way to think like that without being arrogant, without being egotistical. But you might not know what that is. That's something you can learn in the six-figure selling system. So I want you to join me and look at that because these are the kind of things that are off the beaten path. These are the unorthodox ways of selling, things that are not done in any formal sales training. And as I've stated in the past, in many, many companies I've worked with and worked for, the average sales training is based about presentation and handling objections. Well, there's a way that I've always learned to manipulate a conversation so that you don't get objections. Now, how can you do that? You're going to have obstacles, but not objections. So you're going to have a person that says, for example, I'll give you one for free right now. And that is, your competitor has been at my door and they have a great deal. And I am thinking of going with them. I don't know what you have to offer, but they got a great deal and I'm really interested in it. I mean, I could be confrontative and say, then why are you talking to me? And I wouldn't do that. Basically, it's this simple. Hmm. You know, I've got three options for you that the competitors don't even know about. In fact, they don't have those options. But I've got several options that I will share with you if you want to carry this conversation a little bit further. Now, if you say something like that, it's up to the customer to say they want to carry the conversation further. But in my experience, it has been something where they often say, yeah, I'd like to hear what that is. And I'll say, okay, I need X amount of time. Or why don't I come back so I can explain this completely? And they'll say, well, I'm really busy. That's okay. I can always find time if the sale is important enough. Now, remember, 90% of my clients are high ticket salespeople and they're selling everything that I've talked about a hundred times. I've talked about insurance to yachts, to houses, to investments. I've known people that have been stockbrokers, investors, and I've learned how they deal. Most of the time it's an assumed sale, but what about if it's not an assumed sale and you're dealing with a competitor that's right on your neck like this? And you want to make sure that that customer is so interested in your competitor that you have something that they can't get anywhere else. This is why I also extend the training to cover customer service. In other words, what can I give you over and above what it is you're already getting that my my comp competitor will not give you. And one of them is my time. You can call me seven days a week. My competitor shuts their phones off at nine o'clock at night. You can call me 10, 30, 11. I've had people call me at 11 o'clock at night thinking they were gonna just leave a message. And I pick up the phone and they're like, oh my God, you're actually live? You're not a recording? And I'm going, yeah, I'm not a recording. So what can I do for you? Oh, I'm sorry I'm calling you so late. And I'm like, no problem. I'm up late anyway. If my, if my son were to call me at this time, I'd pick up. So tell me, what can I do for you? Now, that kind of a conversation becomes something completely different than I'm selling them. They've come up with a question. And they thought, maybe I'll call them tomorrow. But I pick up the phone at 11 o'clock. I keep my phone with me all the time, wherever I go. If somebody calls, I'm picking up. So when they call at 11, I pick up the phone. Uh, this is Mr. Silver. I wanted to talk to you about a, a particular issue I'm having. Okay, how you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm calling you so late. They usually say that. It's no problem at all. You call me whenever you want to. If I pick up, I'm available to talk. If I don't pick up, leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I am available but I'm available seven days a week. 
Well, what happens if you're out to dinner with your family? Well, then I don't pick up the phone, leave a message. But if I pick up, I can talk. And if for some reason I'm involved, like let's say I'm in a, in a movie, I'm not going to pick up the phone in a movie. I'm going to have it. I'm going to have the ringing suppressed. And if I see that you're called visually, I'm not picking up that phone. I'll text you back. But I'll cover all those things in the six figure selling system. So what I want you to do is I want you to join me by going to the six figure selling system and the link will be below so you can register and I will look forward to seeing you at the next meeting. Thank you very much. You have a good day and stay positive.